on YouTube. Hmm. Google Maps Challenge. I wonder if I could do a Google Maps Challenge. Let me look. Well, look at the little creek. Yeah, let's go. Alright, we're gonna head down to where I saw this uh, creek and um, didn't take me too long to find it, but sometimes when you're doing these Google searches, you can spend hours on the phone or on your maps, whatever you look it up as, just searching for places and trying to figure them out. How, how do you get there? You know, what's the access like? Is there even fish there? camera's getting a little crooked right here how am I gonna film it um, what kind of lures am I gonna take so starting out with this one I'm just gonna take an ultralight rod and when we get there we'll take a look at it see what it looks like um, I got a few little lures I got my bass stuff with me I got everything with me but I never know kind of what I'm gonna take till I get there so when we pull up to oh over there oh well, let's pull over right here. And um, here's the creek right there. Not exactly the uh, normal fishing area, but let's make look at, look at something that makes this interesting. So we have a little bitty creek coming in right here. First off, yeah, we're on the side of the interstate, or the highway here, not the interstate. But look down there, look at those fish in there. Oh, look at that, he's looking at us. There's some sunfish and some creek chubs in about two inches of water. Just a tiny little ditch coming in right here. But we might be able to catch one of those. They were kind of skittish, they're looking at me. It's not much water, but we're not gonna fish in much deeper water than that. Let's go um, over to the median. Of course, look both ways. Don't want to get ran over, especially on this highway. They people fly through here. And um, so on this side of the median, it's kind of cool too. We also have a little bit of water coming in. I don't know if these are the same water source, but we got a little bit of water flow. Just on the other side was the other water flow. So. Obviously, when I see water flowing, I always want to track it down to where it starts getting deeper. And then that's over here. Now, I wish this wasn't the noisiest place, but this is where the fish live. And I think we're going to catch fish here. So take a look as you get over to this median. Oh, look at that right there. I can't tell how deep that is, but you can tell that there's quite a bit of water. Now to the car, you can't see anything going by. You, you just see grass but there's some water right there and then right over there you can see where those little trees are you can tell that there's something there's a reason why there's trees and bushes right there let's get a couple let's see if we can get a cast in here oh i had a dude 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 actually oh man there's a bunch of fish they look like green sunfish what I don't know, I had a bite. I got one, I got one! Yeah! Oh, there's an anthill. Oh, watch this. All right, let's walk down here to this a little bit. Yeah, green sunfish. Dude, green sunfish will live in the most skinniest, creakiest looking places. I, dude, I'm looking down in there. I can't believe how many fish are in there. I'm gonna try to show on the camera. This this hole is a, I don't even know. 
not even deep dude there's so many fish living in that little hole right there let's see what we can see on the on my phone okay one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven dude there's like just look at all that there's a decent one they're all small and like there's very i mean i don't even know how they get up in there but there's a little pocket of water and these fish are just thriving let's uh try another one now they're kind of spooked off oh, oh, oh i got another one. i got another one yeah these are little green sunfish but they look they're not like scrawny or you know they're just they're healthy all the little bugs they won't be in, in the winter time i've come in here and there'll be a few fish if there's water for most time you don't see much through but we got to follow this creek down a little bit further got to walk through the weeds probably going to get a few ticks on me they haven't even mowed the highway yet when they bush hog this off it's a nice cut down here now obviously i have been to this place several times this is one of the places i came to before i was even making creek videos making any kind of videos because this was it would always amaze me the fish that were in here kind of one of the places that inspired me to start making videos now i know i do a lot more kayaking now but i've kind of explored so many little places in my town i don't want to go to them all the time but it's it's neat to go back every once in a while at least once or twice a year just to see what's changed there's a little bit of flow that kind of stays flow all year now remember on the other side of the highway there was that little creek coming in and there's actually a little creek coming in straight so there's like one two three small streams all converge right here at this uh underpass what are these things called this little highway and you can see there's current down there now that's a decent little bit of current i mean this ain't like you're gonna kayak in it oh there's a snake i don't know if we got it on the video i just saw a snake go through there's there's all kinds of stuff that live in these little areas but we want to catch the fish. Well, there's not a lot of current. Oh, oh, a frog. I saw a snake, I saw a frog. Uh, it was a good sized frog. And then over there, there's a little deep hole, or usually is. So we're gonna get down in here, walk through maybe the other, both ways. Um, because usually on the side of these interstate, or a side of a highway, it creates a deep hole. Now this one ain't very deep. This is pretty shallow. A lot of uh, mud has silted in. Oh, I see some sunfish. See some fish right there. I'm gonna make a couple casts. We're gonna try to get down in here. Actually, I don't know how we're gonna get down here. It's all briars and thickets. We're gonna get down here somehow and fish the other side and maybe the little uh, ditch behind me. You gotta take the next step. We see it. We gotta get down and access it. I'm trying to figure out the best way to get down there. I saw a snake over there. There's briars everywhere. There's no telling where snakes are and mud holes. Too far to jump, at least me in my old age now. So let's do this. Let's go over here to the other side of the highway. Aha. I see an opening. Frog jumped off. Well, there ain't much water here. I'm pretty sure I've been here before and it used to be a lot deeper. I'm a little worried that my holes are washed out or just like filled in. All right, we're in the creek. Cars, ah, something fell on my arm. I don't know what that was. The cars are flying by. I have no idea I'm down here. Probably don't even realize all this prime. Oh, it's a bunch of sunfish right there. Little ones. 
prime fishing. Oh, we gotta go through the tunnel. I got cobwebs on me. Ugh. This ain't my favorite part. But easier than walking through the briars. Hopefully I'm not gonna fall in a hole or come across a snake pit. Sunlight. What's that little fish? I'm getting by there's there's little stuff here we gotta go through that one and that's where the deep hole is over there hopefully still there's a lot of little fish swimming around oh goodness a frog jumped out right where i was stepping <sighs> okay yeah yeah this is it here all three creeks are converging we got we got the two that come in on that side we got one little stream coming in on this side we got some decent flow and listen besides the cars you can hear some water falling off this edge over here you got like a little waterfall going in Ooh, look at that. Now this may not look like much, but for a deep hole, this is a big deep hole for a creek. I'm trying to see if I see anything. I don't want to spook stuff off, but it's clear water. It goes for a little ways. I think we'll get something here. All right, I'm down. And yo, look at all those little fish come. What? Oh, missed them. Oh, there's there's a couple of decent little panfish. What is that? What is that? Uh, I'll steal a little guff. All right, we have ourselves a creek chub. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Green sunfish. Pretty solid one. All right, there's a big green sunfish I'm seeing. Oh, oh, oh we came for it. I'm trying to get it right on him because there's a bunch of other fish. Oh, no, that's not the one, but I'll take him. I didn't even see that one down there. It is hard squatting like this. How do baseball players do it? That right there's a red breast sunfish. Back. They're all kind of congregating right there. Oh, look at all them. Uh, there's still a couple bigger, nice sunfish I saw. I haven't seen any bass. There should be some bass in here. Uh, that little green sunfish. Where's that bigger one at? I had my chance at the big one and I lost it. Oh, 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 what is that? I see something hiding in the tree over here. Oh, they're all over in these trees. Yeah, I like that one right there. Just dropped it in, picked him out. 
Uh, that one is a hybrid, I believe. It looks like a bluegill, but it's got a little bit of green sunfish in it, I think. Oh my goodness, I lost him again. Okay, we're going to put a little bit different lure on there. It is really aggravating sitting like this. Oh. Oh, I gotta stand up, stretch my legs out. Let's go with a mule fishing burrow bug. It's perfect for these greenies. They got a big mouth. Come on. Yeah, there he is. That's a good one. Mmm. That's a nice one. Okay, I kind of didn't jerk too hard. That's a really nice. Yeah. Got that one. Come on. Another little green savage. I kind of want to go back there a little bit. Let's go down that creek a little bit. I haven't been down there in a long, in, I don't know, a long time. Okay, so look at this drop. It's really cool. It's got this, like a three foot drop. We got good flow of water coming in. Got this nice deep pool. That can really sustain a lot of life. As long as it doesn't like, go crazy flooding or a crazy drought and everything die there's quite a bit of uh, water flow and like just abundance of different stuff in here that can keep several fish alive oh, oh, oh I just spooked off a good size sunfish I think I can't get to uh. I got spiders crawling my neck. Something just landed on me. And when you're walking through this kind of stuff, I mean, there's no, I, that's, you wonder what the fish are eating. There's gotta be like, just all kinds of bugs falling in. Plus like crawdads and, oh, oh, there's a fish and stuff. But this is where you gotta make good casts if you wanna try to get it out there in front of you. Green sunfish. Oh, by the way, I'm using a six foot ultralight rod. This is the TFO trout panfish um, series. I got, I think this is like five pound braid and a four pound leader line. Oh, I saw some, oh, oh, there we go. Wow, that's nice. 130 seconds down jig head. And that's the uh, mule fishing burrow bug, like a little crawler creature style. That's a nice screen sunfish. But it doesn't take much. If you have the right setup, you can flick these little lures. And obviously I'm not trying to cast 30 yards. I just need to cast accurately uh, 12, 15 feet. Always trying to figure out how to. Oh, I did it. You can't help it. You're always going to get in a tree. But if you can. I got a fish. Oh, I had a fish on. I didn't know my lure dropped in the water. Something was hitting it. I'm always trying to get away to try look for the look for a cast. How can I cast? How can I cast without walking right up to the fish and standing on top of them? There's a decent amount of water right there. Green. I think I see another pool down there. Let's try to go a little bit further. My glasses are fogged up, so it's thick in here. Oh, oh, I just saw, oh, I gotta get this fish, hold on. I think it's a green sandwich, but it looks big. 
No! Let's spit it out, spit it out. Ah, this little one, I ate it right in front of the bigger one. There's so many little ones. I'm trying to get that, I can barely see a little bit bigger one. There he is, right there. there. Ah! Oh, that's not him, that's a stick. Oh, no, no. Yeah. Is he still there? Oh, there he is. Eat it. Yeah. Got him and he's tangled up. Nice. Oh, man. That's a good green sunfish. He is the king in here. He is heavy. The ultimate creek fish right there. The green sunfish. Just a really cool one right there. Good, that was a good fish. Just hammered it. Just kind of flipped it down in that little pool down there. Oh, nice. That's another nice one. All right, I'm gonna head back. Just really taking in the colors on this fish. I'll throw it in some shallow water. He can swim out of there like there's nothing though. We'll get right back into his deep hole, boom. Now, I'm not making fun of people that do Google Maps challenge. It's just, I, I felt like I see this trend and I've ta even talked to some other guys that do it, uh, just on like making videos and just, you know, it's kind of a catchy thing and it sounds exciting, but I would say majority of my fishing trips are Google Maps fishing, you know, that's how I find all these places I go to. And I was talking to, well, I was talking to Larry Melton Jr. And uh, he did one and he's like, you should do one. And I was thinking about it and I've talked to, I'm like, I, that is what I do. These are the kind of places I find now this one is like a half a mile from my house, but I found it eight, nine years ago um, by following a creek from another creek and following it downstream and finding this hole. And now I knew it was there, but I, I find so many places like that. So I, I don't like giving away names of creeks. Um, sometimes I'll do rivers and sometimes people get upset if I don't. Sometimes people will get upset if I do, which I don't care either way, but I don't think it's fair to give away names of smaller creeks because most of these like this one, it runs through private property and I used to go down through there, but now somebody's cleared that out and I don't want to go through there anymore. It used to be just all woods and you know, but this is right here on the side of a road and it's really the government's property, but you can go find, I got a mosquito on my face. You can go find these places and it, it can just be a tiny little blue line. And when you, and you can't even see it, like when you, when you pull it up because the, over the trees overhanging, like you wouldn't even be able to see this water if I pulled it up on like a uh, non road view, whatever that's called. But if you put road view, you see a little blue line. And if there's a blue line there, I'm always wanting to check it out. So, hey, these places are out here. Maybe, maybe there's big fish, maybe there's not. Um, I've, like I said, I've caught two pound bass and bigger out of here. Not today, but I caught some really cool green sunfish and that was still fun. Thanks for watching.